What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Now, if you are an Apex Legends fan, then you are going to be super excited for this video because we have three brand new weapons coming to Apex Legends. If you want to find out all about these weapons, then please make sure that you watch the entire video so you don't miss out on any key information. The best weapon is at the end as well, so you really don't want to miss out. Now, if you enjoy the video and find it useful, then please do not forget to drop me a big thumbs up, subscribe and comment, and I'll see you in there. So the first weapon that is confirmed to be hitting Apex Legends at some point in the very, very near future is a flamethrower. Now, this gun has been found in the patch notes that can be seen here and clearly shows what's to be included. Now... I am unsure whether this will be a standalone weapon, or maybe it could be an ultimate for one of the new rumored legends, such as Nomad. It would certainly be an interesting concept regardless, and will be interesting to see its place in Apex Legends. Now currently, we only have these leaked patch note images, but once any official imagery or videos come out, then this channel will be the first to know about it. Now I personally believe that this gun will be an ability and I imagine much like Corsic's gas tankers will be utilized well for tight close range gunfights which will have a long burn effect as well as a small instant damage counter. It has the makings of being overpowered if it was able to hit too hard straight away if I'm completely honest. Now I imagine taking this into a room where a squad is waiting it would end up looking like a microwave after two seconds so at the end of the day we shouldn't really be expecting an actual dragon to start flying around, right? The second weapon that should be coming to Apex Legends takes the form of a remote turret. Now, this is an extremely interesting weapon that has been found in the patch notes and is set to be insane. The gun sounds very much like the pilot sentry gun from Titanfall 2, which, as you can see, was also just as insane. Hell, it even had to be nerfed at one point. It will be able to be placed down as extra gun power to either attack, protect, or retreat from gunfights. I also imagine that you potentially have the option to control the weapon yourself, although I am unsure whether this will be in the form of a remote control screen that you can use from a distance away, or whether you could physically mount the gun and control it yourself. Now, once again, we have no confirmed imagery of this weapon in Apex Legends, other than the ones from Titanfall 2, so I imagine it will probably take inspiration from this and will be coming to us in the very, very near future, so stay tuned. Now, honestly, I think these turrets have a very good place in Apex Legends. They could be used in so many ways, blocking an entrance, which you can't cover, covering fire if you are rotating, using it as an alert to know if enemies are closer. The list goes on, but I am extremely excited for this to eventually hit the world of Apex Legends. The last weapon that has been confirmed to be entering Apex Legends alongside imagery in-game is the well-known Frag Drone, also known as the Tick Grenade from Titanfall 2. Now, the evidence behind this is found in the patch notes once more, but these are a little bit more interesting. Alongside the Frag Drone being clearly highlighted, you can see the word tick and an automated drone that seeks out enemies and explodes. Now, what I imagine that tick refers to is its Titanfall predecessor, which I imagine is the inspiration behind the weapon. If you are not familiar with the frag drone in Titanfall 2, it absolutely destroyed. You would simply have to throw it at the floor. The drone would then pop up and start running towards any enemies which were nearby. The drones were in the shape of a big red glowing siren, which could be easy spotted, but more often than not, would be an absolute handful to deal with and would often get you multiple kills if utilized in the right ways. Which I imagine, if it was brought over to Apex Legends, would probably do much the same. Now we do have some imagery of what these tick grenades will look like. Now, there's an image here and here showing the weapon being showcased in Apex Legends. But alongside this, you can also see the grenade actually on the screen of the Mastiff actually in the game. Now, could this be respawn leaving clues right under our nose? Who knows? But I'm extremely excited to see what else there is to come. Now, I wonder if there is actually anything else we missed. Maybe we've got other clues for guns, but we'll have to wait and see for the future. However, I am kind of concerned for this addition to Apex. Titanfall wasn't a battle royale, so you had more than one life. If a mistake was made or you got blown up once or twice, then no big deal. But imagine 
this weapon in a one life scenario. You know, you're you're on the brink of your first 20 bomb. You see one of these crawling towards you. You start sprinting, but the thing can literally smell your fear. It chases you like Jaws chased that sailor, and all of a sudden, you're dead. But um, in all seriousness, what I'm trying to say is that this weapon would need to be low to mid damage realistically in this sort of game scenario. In Titanfall, if this weapon exploded next to you, you would be dead. Now, this would need to be altered to keep it balanced within this game. But regardless, I am excited to see for its addition and to see what actually happens. Unfortunately, though, we have reached the end of the video. I know this was just a quick update video, but I hope you guys have all enjoyed it nonetheless. If you have found it useful and entertaining, then please do not forget to drop me a like, subscribe and comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. See you later.